So how did I remove the headphones and add some sailboats to the background with Kling? Well, that's what I'm going to show you. You may not know this, but Kling has quietly been building up their AI editor for both images and video. So we're going to check it out. Hey, I'm Raj, co-host of the Creative AI Show, and Kling has added a few features to their editor and made it more, I guess, readily available or easy to find, perhaps. And they have a newer feature, which is the remove option. So we'll explore that among some of the other editing tools. When I first started off, I wanted to replace this dog and turn it into a chicken. And here's what I got. <laughs> I think that was kind of funny. And then I just said, hey, just remove the chicken dog. And that worked out pretty well. I've downloaded a number of other images to play with, so let's see what we can do with them. But first, let's review the image editing palette. And as you can see over here, we have the history. And it tells you exactly what we used in that process. We used the remove. We inpainted to get our chicken dog. And here are the inpainting option, expand option, as well as the remove option. We just did a video on the expand option with Luma Labs Dream Machine and it worked out pretty well. We should probably have a comparison coming up soon. Down here we have move, which allows us to move our images. Quick selection for in painting. So we can say we want to change the top, maybe the color or the style, or the skirt, or the shoes, or the background. Maybe make this a brick road, something like that. We can also use brush selection, and here you have different sizes available. On my Mac, I can use the bracket keys, and that seems to work just like we can in Photoshop, so that's kind of convenient. You have the option of the number of outputs, too. And as you can see, we can have up to nine outputs, at least for images. Here's the eraser. If you don't like what you've done, of course, you can undo and clear all. And up here, we'll find the export with or without watermark and size. And if you're interested in the shortcuts, definitely pause and check out this diagram. And when you're ready to upload a new image, head on over here. You can select from your own history or upload, which is what we're going to do. So I thought it'd be good to start off with a still life in which we might want to change a couple things in our scene. So what we could do is we could do a quick selection. When I did quick selection, it automatically outlined everything and gave us a transparent background in which we could put any kind of scene we wish. Let's move backwards. Let's do a brush selection. and click remove. So you'll notice the item is removed and they give us two options which should be honestly the same. And also make notice we are on the remove option. Now what if we went to in paint and we took the brush selection over the area. Now it highlights it green and as you can see there's a prompt box that is below and of course I could increase the size of this brush very easily with the bracket keys and say turn into a strawberry. Let's do two outputs and paint. When removing something just one or two options or outputs is usually pretty good but when you have a situation where you might want to see if there are different styles of strawberries. Let's see if the, there's much of a difference. A little bit. Yeah, there's some, some changes. If I wanted to try it again, I could. Um, or So let's, let's click this button and see what we get. Intensity higher means stronger in painting. Let's see what stronger in painting means. Let's go over this 
and we'll call it a fat strawberry. With four, we'll, we'll go with four outputs. Okay, I like this strawberry a little better. It's a little more fake, but I like it better, at least the shape. Here's another one, similar, similar, but not exactly the same. That, that one's not bad, that one's not bad. Obviously, it depends on your taste. Now let's explore a little bit more because there are a few other features here that we may want to play with. Box selection, so you can select the whole area. Of course, we can move the whole canvas. The quick selection again just takes out the background from the main elements. Again, box, brush, eraser. Huh, that seems a little off. Let's see what happens. Let's do two outputs. Probably means that it's not going to keep the strawberry in the background. That's my guess. Well, it looks like I was wrong. I'm not sure. Oh, they just put in diff a different background. So let's try some other types of images and see what we can do. Let's upload this one. It's very commercial. And these are just, this is just image editing, as you can see. So I may have said video too, but that seems to be incorrect. But let's say I want, and I did download some video just to see if we could test it. So obviously I was thinking we could, but obviously not. Okay, back to remove. And let's see if we can't remove, actually let's remove the pillow. So yes, the pillow's removed. And I like, which one do I like? I guess we could get in tight and see what's going on here. Yeah, it did have trouble with the pattern there. Let's remove the person. So not too bad. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. I can see some errors in there. It's not as bad as the trouble they had with the patterns, which we might expect. And let's look at the other version. No, I like I like this first version better. So going with four outputs is probably a good standard to work with, unless it's a very simple background. For example, getting rid of this picture would be very easy. Let's do a quick in paint and then on to one more. So again, we'll put right here. Let's see how it interacts with this vase here. And we'll place, okay, statue of a Roman soldier. Let's, let's just do two outputs again. All right, well, that worked out pretty well. What do you think? Oh, well, that's that's almost a real Roman soldier. We, we wanted the statue, so that's good. I was thinking of more right here, but that works. And of course, we'll test the expand against some of the other versions another time. Let's find another image. We'll go back to remove. Brush, brush selection. And in this situation, there's no prompt, so it's obvious that we're just trying to move, remove the, these from her ears. Click remove. Two options. So there are two options here. And not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now, let's add a boat. So what would we do? So we can go over to InPaint. We can use a box selection. Let's do that right here. Beautiful sailboat. All right, a beautiful sailboat. Again, we'll, we'll stick with two outputs. And here we go. Did I say sailboats or sailboat? Well, we got two. Let's see what we have. Oh, both of them are about the same. This one, you can see a little bit right here. That's not, I mean, if you knew that nothing was there, um, you could see some of the issue here, but it looks much better here. Same kind of shallow depth of field 
she's sharp, the background's out of focus. So it sticks with the theme. So what do you think? Is this a good tool? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you wanna learn more about AI for the creative, check out the Creative AI Show every Monday right here on this YouTube channel and your favorite podcast location. And of course, don't forget to tell your friends.